What's going on, everyone? Mr. Trummer here, and I'm going to walk you through the last piece of information before our winter break. So we are going to learn today about measures of center. And the good news is you already learned this in eighth grade. So this is just going to be a refresher for those of you that recall how this worked back then. So when we talk about measures of center, we're talking about having a data set, meaning a list of numbers and being able to find the middle of those numbers. And there's three different ways in which we find the middle. They're labeled right here for you, the mean, the median, and the mode. So let's talk about the mean first and try and understand what it is that I mean when I talk about this. Well, the mean is going to be your average of all of those numbers, okay? So the average of all of those numbers. The way we find the mean is by adding all the numbers up, so all the, the numbers in the data set. So I'm going to say... Um, uh, I'm going to say the sum, right? That's when we add everything together. So the sum of all numbers and then you're going to divide by the quantity of numbers, meaning how many numbers are there. So how many numbers not to be confused with how many hashtags, okay? So the mean is finding the average. We've done the average um, in different scenarios throughout your life. You want to know the average height of a basketball team. You probably don't research that stuff on your own, but maybe you do. Maybe you want to know the average um, shoe size of a 14-year-old kid. Uh, those are the types of things that you can do by finding the mean. Now, the median is a little different. The median, while it's still a measure of center, the median is going to be the middle number, the middle number. Think of this, like when you're driving down hard road, you guys know what that strip of grass in between the two different directions are? It's called the median, okay? So it's in the middle of the road. The way you find the median is you simply have to do one thing. You have to arrange all numbers in order so you have to arrange the numbers in order and then find the middle, okay? And don't worry, we're gonna do one of these. Find the middle, okay? All right, so that is your median. And then the last one is the easiest one to just spot out. This one is going to be the mode, okay? And the mode stands for most. Which number shows up the most in your data set? All right, so literally, which, uh, that's too small, come on now. I was doing so well. Which number shows up most? Why would I try and cram that in there right there? Shows up most. So let me zoom out so you get the full picture, literally. The measures of center that we're learning about are going to be the mean, the median, and the mode, or the average, the middle, and the most. So now let's actually do one, all right? Take your screenshot. That was my camera shutter. That was worse than I did last week. All right, so now we're going to look here, and we're going to find the actual mean, median, and mode for each of these, um, or I'm sorry, for this data set right here. So let me go back real quick. We're looking at the mean first, which is the average. So we have the sum of all the numbers divided by how many numbers? Well, the first thing we want to do, if we're going to find the mean, is that we want to add all of these numbers together, okay? So it's going to simply look like this. 61 plus 33 plus 28 plus 26 plus 28 again, plus 53. And we have to divide by the number of numbers. That's kind of a weird way to put it, but let's see how many numbers do we have? Well, we've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we are dividing all of this by six, okay? So take this, put a big line right here, divide by six. My mean in this instance is going to be, give me a moment for calculation. 
That's the calculator in my head working. And we have 61 plus, I should have done this beforehand, 33 plus 28 plus 26 plus 28 plus 53 equals 229. So I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to say, boom, this is equal to 229. And we have to divide that by 6. And that is going to give me a 38.16 because I don't think about my numbers before I create these. And ultimately, we end up with weird decimals, okay? 38.16, that is my mean. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to write that in as my mean, 38.16. I put that little line over there because it's really 38.16 repeating. Okay, so that's our mean. Well, now we need to find our median. If we're going to find our median, if you'll remember as we go back, our median is the middle number. But the point is, let me go back. The point is that we have to arrange the numbers in order before finding that middle. So I go back in. I've got my green color to make sure that we are differentiating. And now I have to, if I'm going to find the median, I need to arrange the numbers in order first. Okay, so let's look at this. Now I'm going to use my green pen here, and it's going to be a little different. I'm going to write which one comes first, which one comes second, so on and so forth. So if I look here, 26 is my smallest number, so that's my first one. Next is going to be 28, the other 28, 33, uh, 53, and last but not least, 61. Now I'm going to write those just as I said right up there. Let me get my pen just a little bit bigger. So I've got 26. I've got 28. I have another 28. I've got 33, I've got 53, and last but not least, I've got 61. Okay, so now my numbers are in order, and I said you have to find the middle. Well, there's a couple different strategies that people have when they go to do this. Here's one that I learned as a kid, and it still works for me. So if I want to find the middle, I'm going to start on the outsides and work my way towards the middle. So I'm going to cross off 26. That's not the median. Okay. Then I'm going to cross off 61. That's also not the median. Cross off 28 because I go back to the start, not the median. Cross off 53, not the median. Oh boy. Now if I cross off 28 and 31 at the same time, well then how in the world do I have a median? Well, check this out. We're going to go just a slightly different color here because basically what we're saying is that the median is right here in between those two numbers. We'll check this. The way we find it, you ready? You're going to take the mean or the average of those two numbers. 28 plus 33, because we only have two of those numbers, now we do this math right here, and you're going to find that 28 plus 33 divided by 2 is going to equal 30.5. 30.5. Now, if we had a number that was there um, in our green, or our original data set, that would be our median, but in this case, because there was not a number directly in the center, it's going to be between those two middle numbers. Therefore, we have a median of 30.5. 30.5. This one is not repeating. This is just a flat out decimal. Okay? So that is going to be ultimately, oh, I, want, I meant to write that in green. Shoot. That's going to be our median. And then last but not least, now you guys can kind of get this cool second layer look to it. Last but not least, we need to find our mode, which if you'll remember, let's kick it back to that first slide. Boom. Mode means most. Which number shows up the most? Well, this one, there's no work. All you have to do is look at those numbers and recognize that, well, how do you do? 28 shows up twice. If 28 shows up twice and nothing else shows up twice, our mode is simply 28. Mean, median, mode, bing, bang, boom. That's how you solve it. We'll get into what that means at a later date. But right now, you just got to know how to do it. So go ahead and complete your Cami assignment. It's only three questions. You can knock it out super quick. So go ahead and get after it.